Hi, I'm Dar from Dar's Divine Connections, and I'm here today to talk about the solar plexus chakra. This one right here, the third chakra. It's located at the base of the chest, right where the ribs come together, right there. And it vibrates at a nice bright shade of yellow. It's all about vitality and energy, willpower, desires, your feeling of purpose, and personal authority. That's why I took a fist and put it right there. Its element is fire, and its sense, like sense of smell or taste or touch, is that of sight. So of sight, so intuitive sight as well. The main focus of this energy chakra is on power and personal identity. A few of its positive qualities are confidence, a sense of humor, leadership, personal power, and mental clarity and a clear intuition and gut instinct. Some problems on the other hand related to the solar plexus chakra are digestion issues, kidney, liver problems, diabetes, ulcers, chronic fatigue or overdomination, or the opposite of that being too timid and low self-esteem and not feeling um, worthy and not being good enough. And the pancreas and the stomach and the gallbladder, all of those things are also involved. This is called, quite often called, the seed of the soul. S-E-E-D, or Seat of the Soul, S-E-A-T. Anyway, it's where the soul purpose resides. It looks like Dusty would like to join us today. Here he is, everybody. So what can we do if we have some of these problems or concerns with not having a full, clear, clean, and balanced solar plexus. Well, for starters, we can laugh more. And oh, Dusty's gonna get a kick out of this because we sometimes do it at home and he jumps all around. But try laughing yoga. I know, it's a little silly. You can look it up on the internet, but it goes like this with a clap. It goes, ha, ha. Ho, ho, ho. And actually, the clap is a clearing energy as well. Ha, ha. Ho, ho, ho. Ha, ha. Ho, ho, ho. Woo! Or yippee! Or wee! Whatever you prefer. Ha, ha. Ho, ho, ho. Ha, ha. Ho, ho, ho. Wee! Now, you can tell I've done it before, or I would have just scared Dusty Boy away, wouldn't I have? <laughs> anyway, it's very silly, but oh, it'll just fire up that solar plexus chakra. Overall, any of our chakras can be strengthened by breathing, by breathing in the particular color of the chakra. So in this case, for the third chakra, we'll be breathing in yellow. And let's visualize the inside of a pineapple, what that looks like, right? So we'll breathe in that pineapple yellow. And then you can breathe in the taste, the sweet, tangy taste of pineapple, if you like pineapple. Or you can breathe in the smell. The think about the bright, fresh, fruity smell of pineapple. And you could think of breathing in all that healthiness into that 
yellow solar plexus chakra because it has antibiotic enzymes. I didn't know if you knew that, but pineapple does have bromelain, a natural enzyme, and it can be used as an antibiotic um, for like mild cases where you need an antibiotic um, and you want a natural one. So the bright yellow piece of pineapple starts at the base of the chest where the ribs come together. And then let's just kind of spin it. Spin that round yellow chakra that looks like this, is represented like this anyway. And for me, it looks kind of like a hula hoop or a big sphere on its side, just spinning around and spinning around and let it just spin off any toxins or debris or negativity. Have that be spun away off our bodies and come into just that beautiful spinning yellow, that bright yellow pineapple. And it can just fly away. Other items specific to um, the energy of the solar plexus would be stones. You could use stones like topaz, uh, citrine, tiger's eye, amber, any of those types of stones. For scents, those of you into the essential oils, different types of scents, you can, it be basil and ginger, bergamot, cedar, blueberries, any of those for the third solar plexus chakra. As far as sounds go, it'd be any bold sounds like trumpets or gongs or the specific tuning fork that's been tuned or the singing bowl that's been tuned to that particular chakra. Any loud, pleasant, big band kind of sounds. And the mantra for it is ram. Ram. The planet Mars is also connected with this chakra. The Connections community at Dars Divine has requested that I also include information about the Archangel rays that I purposely connect with when working with the chakra system. And this is based on my experience as a vibrational energy healer and mentor. So for the solar plexus chakra, vibrating at that bright yellow, I can connect with the lightsaber sword of Archangel Michael. So this is a well-known angel, and we know he brings in power and strength and fiery energy, which are all characteristics of a clean, clear, balance solar, solar plexus chakra. That's hard to say fast. <laughs> he also shields and protects so that the timid, less powerful solar plexus energy feels safe and protected and sheltered and shielded in that place. So there's plenty of other information out there about the chakra system and about the third chakra and there's mutras and there's madras and there's uh, mantras and there's affirmations. So go ahead and Google it till your heart's content because there's tons out there. But thank you for letting me share my views and share my experiences with the main elements of the solar plexus chakra today. Feel free to email any questions directly to me at darsdivineconnections at gmail.com. I answer everything personally and I love questions. So until next time, blessings your way.